Hello guys, welcome to Momentos de Tecnología, this, this quick video about how to configure very quickly your first Unify access point based on the Unify app available from your app stores. Mm, first we're going to install the, the application, uh, a very simple process, you just type the, the, the keyword Unify and you're going to find it immediately. Mm, after that we're going to open the um, the app, this phone is a little bit slow, we're going to change it a little bit mm, let's remember that by now your access point must be already connected to your network and to your switch or router at your home or your office, whichever you're going to use. We're going to scan the QR code from the bottom of the device After scanning the, the QR code from the from the device, the your cell phone or your tablet or whichever you're using is going to connect directly to the access point and is going to give you the options to configure um, directly to the device. Right here we're going to choose a username. This is the admin username for the for the device, the password that you're gonna use, and of course you can choose the country. Right here you can see the status LED is the one that you're going to use in case that you want to turn on the, the device LED or LED. Uh, the name of the SSID is the name of the network that you're going to see whenever you make like a survey of the networks around you and you're going to be able to, to see your, your network. We're going to choose WPA or WPA2 in personal and type the security key as long as possible uh, or as complex as possible we're going to apply settings now and we're going to wait a couple minutes to see that the device has actually applied the settings successfully mm, you should see you should be able to connect right now as you can see right here i forgot to to check the status led or led uh, is not uh, is not on so we're going to proceed and make a few changes right here is where you're going to be able to change for example the password of your Wi-Fi or you can also increase the security create an additional network and so on or change the channel in case that you're having a little bit of um, of interference and then we're going to apply settings again wait for the device to reboot and also we're going to connect directly to to the Wi-Fi of the device uh, this is something that the device does automatically you don't have to pay attention to that you just use the app and in the background the app is gonna be doing everything for you and basically that's that's all we recommend you that you watch how you can do exactly these things and a lot a lot more using the controller for the computer. The application for the computer is by far more complex, advanced, and you can even um, interact with many more devices like you may have seen in our other videos. Um, right here, the settings are being applied to the device, and that's all. After settings are applied, you should be able to see the LED has come, come on, and and that's all okay thank you guys for watching this video that's all it's a very simple process like i said uh, if you want to make a more complex configuration for home don't forget to watch the video that we are going to provide you with the link in the description see you soon